right, guys, last video. Um, <clears throat> let me pull this in a little bit. Okay, so here's our Start Right Readers. Grass, Mud, Logs, and Sod by Margaret Fetty. Look at that. We've been reading about houses. Do you think that might be a house? Let's see. Houses can be made in many ways. Grass grows well in this hot land, so people make huts with it. Oh, that's called a hut. That's a kind of house. They pack sticks in grids and map out big boxes, tuck grass tufts over the sticks, and lash them up on top. Wow, that's neat. I've never seen a house like that. It's called a hut. Look at this one. This is a different kind of house. This land is hot, but not so wet. Okay, so this is in a different part of the world. Big plants do not grow well. So people mix up mud, sand, and water and press them into bricks. They stack the bricks, dab on a white mix, and add grass up on top. Oh, wow. So these people live in an area of the world where it's hot, but they don't get a lot of water. So they don't have as many plants to work with, but they do have dirt. That's interesting. Look at this. That's in another part of the world. This is another hot land that has houses made with mud bricks. Okay, so it's hot here too. People stack bricks and prop them with logs. Houses sit one next to another, blocked from sun and wind. So it is not hot in the houses. So even though they live in a really hot place, it's not hot inside those houses. Look at this. This is pretty neat. This kind of reminds me of a hobbit hole. <laughs> That's from a fantasy book called Lord of the Rings. Let's see what it actually is. This house is in a hill. It has thick rock around it. Water cannot get into it. The hill helps it be snug. It is damp. That means it's kind of wet. Black and drab in this, oh, sorry. Is it damp, black, and drab in this house? No, it is not. It lets in the sun and it can be lit with lamps. Okay, that's pretty neat. So it can be lit up with lamps. It's not damp or dark or drab in that house. It lets the light in. That's pretty neat. Look at this. Looks like a little cabin. In the past, men cut logs and made log houses in which to live. Now we can get kits to set them up. A man had logs sent with a kit to set up this log house. He read the plan. It gave tips to help him with it. So, a man built this. They sent him all of the materials that he would need to build it, and he read the plan, and he built it. Wow. Look at this. Oh, in the past, in lands with no logs, men cut sod into bricks and stacked them up to make sod houses. Sod blocks got cut into big, thick bricks. Can you spot grass in this sod house's bricks? Look at this. See that? So they didn't have any logs, so they had to make it out of the grass, out of the top layer of the ground that has the grass. That's really interesting. All right, let's move on to our next book. Houses That Can Go. Let me make sure I'm reading the right one. Okay, yes. <laughs> Houses That Can Go, what do you think this is gonna be about? 
Hmm, I see a picture right here, and I see this is a house, and it's on the go because a car is pulling it. Let's see. Have you read of a spot that you wish to see for yourself? This tin house can help you with that wish. You can go on trips with it. You can hitch it up to trucks and vans. Then off it goes with you in it. Look, that's a house that can go anywhere. Up. Oh. This house can move to different places. Another way to go to fresh spots is to camp in tents. It is fun and so pretty when you get there. Tents fit in big backpacks. People put them on and go on paths that trucks and vans cannot go on. Zip up a tent flap to block the wind. It keeps them nice and safe and cozy inside there. Look at this. People in this land tend flocks. As flocks go to get to grass, people go with them. They go with tents that are quick to set up and take down. Sticks prop up one end. Mats and rugs block the sand and hot sun. Look at this. So that's kind of like a tent. It's just a different kind of tent. They use sticks to prop it up in the middle and on the sides. Oh, wow. Look at this house. It's really colorful. This tent is a big help in cold lands. White mats slip over thick sticks that prop them up. Rugs in the tent stop cold winds. Oh, so those are rugs all around. It keeps it from being so cold. It is snug in this tent. People can pack it up, get it on a yak, and be on their way. So look, they can take all of this down and they can pack it up and move it wherever they want. Look at this house. This is a hot land. People tend flocks in this land and use huts that they can pack up fast. Oh, another one. They make them with sticks and grass mats. It is quick to pack them up and set off after a flock on the go. Whoops, sorry. After a flock on the go. Wow, so see, they can move this really quickly. It's just a bunch of grass mats. Oh, look at this house. This is really interesting. What do you see underneath it? I see water. That's really cool. Mr. Larry's outside my door buffing the floors, so it's going to make a little bit of a noise for this last page. I'm sorry, y'all. Hi, this is my house. It cannot go on land, but it can go on water. It is so much fun to go on trips in it. It has dishes, beds, rugs, and a bathtub. I mop and wax the deck. I do another job. Then I sit and rest. Wow, that was really interesting. We saw all kinds of houses that we don't normally see. We saw a houseboat, and we saw lots of tents that were made of different things. There's a tin house that you can hook up to the car. That was really interesting, guys. Thank you for reading with me.